Welcome to Compline on this Palm Sunday evening. We are live streaming from the chapel at Holy Communion in Memphis, Tennessee. And we say a special hello to our partners at St. Thomas Somerville and Emmanuel LaGrange and anyone else who is tuning in tonight with us. An order for Compline can be found on the Book of Common Prayer beginning on page 127 or on our website is an order of service. You can also find it on BCP online. And being Palm Sunday, if you have a branch nearby, whatever kind of branch will work, remember the disciples and all of the followers grabbed uh, what they could find in their uh, immediate surroundings. So if you have an azalea branch or a magnolia branch or anything, you can find strips of paper or a a coloring page of a palm, those will all do. And we are gonna begin with the liturgy of the palms. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give him thanks and, and praise. It is right to praise you, almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph, and was proclaimed as King of Kings by those who spread their garments and their branches of palm along his way. Let these branches be for us signs of his victory, and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our King, and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who lives and reigns in glory with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord make, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together Psalm 31, beginning at verse 9 to 16. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies, and even to my neighbors a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am useless as a broken pot, for I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. When Jesus and his disciples had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says to you, just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. 
This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the roads, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, a merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. 
and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite you to light a candle if you have one at home, to write down a prayer if one is on your heart, or simply to hold it in your heart as we have some time for meditation and prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen.
hope you will join us each of the days of this week as we enter into this holy week together. Blessings for the journey.